You are watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we're about to get into a game recap of the absolute embarrassment that the New York Giants put up, losing to the Los Angeles Rams 38-11. to If you want someone fired, whether it be Dave Gettleman, Joe Judge, Jason Garrett, Patrick Graham, go down and like this video. Smash that like button. Just get all that anger out. Just take it out on the like button. Like the video if you want someone fired. And guys, I'm about to get out of here, kind of like the Giants fans did at halftime because... I can't watch that. So y'all enjoy this video. I'm out of here, fellas. Giants fans, welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we're going to do a recap of the game that just happened. I actually have to do the recap. My bosses saw me walk off the set. They said that's not going to happen. I'm actually contractually obligated to do a video so I guess we're going to have to talk about the absolute domination that the Rams just had against the New York Giants, 38-11. to And honestly, it could have been a lot worse because the Los Angeles Rams, they had their backup quarterback in, in the fourth quarter, and they really took their foot off the gas. I mean, Matt Stafford, he did absolutely everything he wanted against this Giants defense. Leonard Williams actually showed up, had two sacks in the first half, but besides that, it was all Rams. The Rams absolutely dominated. I mean, guys... Let's face it, this New York Giants football team is just not good right now, and I don't think it's going to be able to turn around. We are, what, six games into the season, and we've seen what this team has to offer, and right now, it's not much. The pass rush, non-existent. The defensive backfield is bad. Adoree Jackson, he is one of the worst free agent signings that the Giants have had in a long, long time. I'm still waiting for him to make his first play as a New York Giant. And when you do see it, tweet it at me because I want to celebrate. We should all celebrate when Adoree Jackson finally makes his first play as a New York Giant. Here are the team stats on screen on what exactly happened this Sunday afternoon. I mean, the stats, they tell the story right here. The Giants were absolutely dominated. They could not stop the Rams, and the Rams, they stopped the Giants at will. The Giants, they lost this game in the turnover battle. Anytime you turn the football over, four times compared to a team turning it over two times, when you also lose the time of possession battle, it's just not going to work. I mean, plain and simple, this is what happens when a good team plays a bad team. And right now, the New York football giants, they are a bad football team. And it starts from the top, from John Mara to Dave Gettleman to Joe Judge to Jason Garrett to Patrick Graham. Everybody is playing like a bad football team. And the coaches, they are coaching like a bad football team. It's that simple. And guys, I'm disappointed because I didn't think the Giants were going to win this game, but I didn't think they would quit and be embarrassed like they were. At halftime, they celebrated the Super Bowl 46 team, and it was unfair to those guys because the boos, they were pouring down from, the, from everywhere in MetLife Stadium, and they didn't deserve that. And of course, John Mara, the coward he is, did not show his face during halftime. So go down in the comments if you want to boo John Mara. Do it right now. Go boo John Mara. But guys, fortunately, actually unfortunately, the season may be over, but fortunately for you guys, our coverage here of the Giants on New York Giants now by Chat Sports, it's not going to stop. No matter if we go 1 and 16, no matter what, we're going to continue to put out free daily videos based around the latest Giants news, rumors, the trade deadlines coming up. Could the Giants make a trade to improve this team? You will find out very, very soon. But if you want free daily videos on everything surrounding the New York Giants, go down and hit that big red button right now. More injury news for the New York Giants. Seems like every Sunday, somebody else for this New York Giants football team gets hurt. And today, it was Kadarius Tony. He hurt his ankle last week against the Dallas Cowboys, and he tried to play through it. There was reports all week that he was dealing with it and wasn't, didn't look very good on his ankle. And then when the pregame workout came around, there was reports that he also did just wasn't going to be ready to go, but he showed that he was. On the first drive, he had three catches for over 30 yards, made big plays, and made people miss. But on the last play of the last play of the game for Tony, he caught a ball, made a DB miss, spun out of bounds, gained about 17 yards, and re-aggravated that ankle injury. As soon as more injury news comes out around Kadarius Tony, we'll be sure to let you guys know. No, but right now it just seems like a week-to-week -week injury, and they need to let Kadarius Tony get healthy because he is the only bright spot right now on this Giants roster. And not a bright spot is Daniel Jones and what he did this Sunday versus the Los Angeles Rams. 29 for 51 and 242 yards. That's bad enough. But when you throw three interceptions and you lose two fumbles, well, you lose one fumble when you're sacked. He, he lost two. Luckily, the Giants, they 
they they recovered one, so he only had four. Only yeah, only had four turnovers. It could have been much worse. But these are these are games that have me thinking: Can Daniel Jones be a franchise quarterback for the New York Giants? I always say with Daniel Jones, his good is good enough. If he was if if, if all of his bad plays were thrown out, he'd be a great quarterback. But that's not how things work. His good is good enough. But his bad is really, really bad. And today, we got the bad Dan Jones. That's what I call him when he plays bad. Dan Jones, because today, it was awful. He didn't have much help. Andrew Thomas, he left in the second quarter because of an injury. His second wide receiver was Dante Pettis. And he was handing off the football to Elijah Penny, their fullback. But at the end of the day, when you lose games and you score just three points, I don't count the garbage time touchdown. The blame's going to come on to the quarterback. And that's what's happening with Daniel Jones right now. It's games like this that really make me question if he's going to be able to get it done. But I want to know what you guys have to say. Go down in the comments. Be active for me. Voice off. Get it off your chest. This is a safe space for all New York Giants fans. I told my producer, we're not letting any Rams fans in the comments section of this video, so it'll be just Giants fans. But go down in the comments and let me know. Do you still believe in Daniel Jones? Can he still be a franchise quarterback for the New York Giants? If you think he can, go down in the comments and type Y for yes. Or if you're ready to bail... Go down and type your N for no. More injury news. That seems like that's all we're talking about right now on New York Giants. Now, Andrew Thomas. He missed last week's game against the Dallas Cowboys because of that foot injury, and he wasn't able to overcome that in this week of practice. They, he was active this week, and he did start, but quickly you could tell he was not the same player that he's been playing like the whole season. He was not 100%. That foot was obviously hindering him, and it is causing a ripple effect on this Giants offense. The Thomas injury is handicapping this offense. Daniel Jones, he plays much better when Andrew Thomas is on the field and when he's playing better like he has so far through the 2021 NFL season. When Jones can trust his backside left tackle blocker and when it's Andrew Thomas, he is a much better quarterback. But today, you saw he had happy feet and for rightfully so. When your blind side is being protected by guys like Matt Peart and Nate Solder, you're going to be nervous as a quarterback, and that's what Daniel Jones was today, and it's just simple. When Andrew Thomas is on the field, this Giants offense is much better, so the Giants, they need Andrew Thomas to get healthy. If you've got to sit him out a couple weeks to do so, do it, because that's your left tackle of the future, and you don't want to have him incur any more injuries, so bench him, not bench him, but rest him until he gets right. Shout out to our friends and sponsors over at BetUS. They make today's video possible. And if you want some free money, yeah, you heard it right, free money, head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125. When you sign up and you deposit $100, they will match that and give you a 125% deposit bonus. So you will have $225 in your account to bet with. I would stay away from betting on the Giants to win football games because right now it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I'm sure on their site you can have a bet on if you think the Giants are going to pick first in the NFL draft. So go check them out. Bet US. They are the best sports book partners on the internet. And use our promo code chat125 at chatsports.com slash bet to get a 125% deposit, deposit bonus. Trust me, it'll help you out on Sundays and it'll make your Sundays much more interesting. One more time, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125 to get a 125% deposit bonus. Matt Stafford, he looked like the MVP Matt Stafford today against the New York Giants. He was 22-28, completed almost 80% of his passes, 250 yards through the air, and four touchdowns. And he didn't even play in the fourth quarter. He absolutely dominated this New York Giants defense. He did everything he wanted. And the Rams, they took their foot off the gas. Stafford, he came out in the fourth quarter. And almost every Rams starter, skill position especially, also came out. And in the third quarter, they started running the ball just to let the time bleed out. This, uh, this Rams offense, they could have hung up a 50-burger on the Giants if they truly, truly wanted to. It's disappointing and it's embarrassing because Joe Judge, when he took this job, he said that Giants fans would be proud to see the product that they would put on the field. And today, I'm not proud. I'm embarrassed. And the Rams, they took their foot off the gas. This could have been a much worse game than the score indicated. It was just embarrassing. I want to know what you guys have to say. What is your one-word reaction to the blowout loss today against the Los Angeles Rams? For me, man, I had to think about it. There was a couple words that I kept on going back and forth from. But the one that I had to settle on, I thought about it a good bit. 
The thing that I settled on was embarrassed. The Giants, they got embarrassed out there today. They went out there in the first quarter. Think about it. After the first quarter, the score was 3-0. to zero. Then you were outscored, what was it? 38 straight points, just absolutely embarrassing. I think following a game like that, somebody has to be fired because it is bar- embarrassing what the Giants have had to go through since Dave Gettleman has taken over. Since the 2018 season, the Giants have the worst record in the NFL, and that falls on a guy's shoulder like Dave Gettleman. One more time, we'll look at the full stats of the game before we bounce on out of here. It just was a bloodbath. I hate looking at these stats because they make my eyes bleed. I mean, when you turn the ball over four times, Daniel Jones, he entered this game with two turnovers through the 2021 NFL season, and today he had four turnovers. It was bad Dan Jones today. No arguing that. I'm embarrassed. And it's, it's games like this that make me question if Daniel Jones is going to make it as the Giants starter. 38 to 11. The Giants, they lose, and they fall to 1-5. and five. It's embarrassing. I'm upset. I understand. Get down in the comments. Just voice all your frustration. I'll be down there interacting with you guys, chopping it up. I want to know what you guys have to say about this game. And if you guys want to know what I have to say more about this game, hit me up on Twitter. My at's right there underneath this, underneath me, at MarshallGreen underscore. I was live tweeting throughout the game. I was letting everything go. I was wearing my emotions on my sleeve because that's what I do as, New York Giant, as a New York Giant fan, and that's what Giants fans do. We wear our emotions on our sleeve, and that's fair. And right now, this Giants team is an absolute embarrassment. But if you want to hit me up on Twitter, it's at MarshallGreen underscore, and send me a DM so I know that you came from this video.